All right, so the whole purpose of today's warehouse adventure, I gotta work on that stuff. All of that's those, that's two pallets of combination of Amazon flips, damaged returns, stuff I need to donate or that I have donated and I just need to deal with. Um, all that kind of stuff's all sitting inside of there. Um, uh, on a typical day, our people, our UPS FedEx would drop our product, our products off. That, that one, and that. Nah, I can't. There we go. There we go. And on that shelf, typically we get like about one of these jam crammed with a little overflow a day. We unbox that, put it onto there. We process it and get it out watched by we. It's usually me and my fiance. Um, mostly me, but the fiance definitely helps out a lot. So it's just when I need that little extra hump uh, to do that. So that's what a typical day of the warehouse looks like. But today's Sunday, January 16th, which I should also mention. I'm gonna be delaying these a little bit. So if you see products, they may or may not be worthwhile. And they definitely won't be anywhere near what I'm selling at that point. But today's project is that. So with that being said, I gotta get to work. Um, that's another reason why I didn't do these nearly as often. I had a lot of stuff I needed to get done and I still didn't get enough done. Um, so I'm literally just gonna talk like I am now and then get to work. You'll see time lapses and explain kind of what I'm gonna do, time lapse, kind of review what I did. I think that's gonna be about it. We got a bunch of stuff that's that's all UPS going out for tomorrow. That's FedEx going out tomorrow. My goal was to get that pallet completely done by the end of the week. Um, we got four boxes on that to get done. We got this is what I got ready to get started for the beginning of the week. Got some cardboard and stuff, but I mean, I'll be back. Oh yeah, that's right. We also did a couple merchant fulfills. That's a merchant fulfill for UPS going out. So honestly, that's about it. Um, figured just get a couple hours in today, get that stuff out, get it done. I'm gonna get home, see if I can find some more stuff to buy on TA for the night, maybe get ahead on Star Team for the week. Um, I wanna play with a lead, not be coming from behind, so I'm trying to get ahead of the ball game, especially with the move, which is gonna put me down for a little while, not running at full capacity. And when I do move, I'm not gonna have this full warehouse, but it'll also be cheaper, so there's kind of trade-offs, right? Um, anyway, I'm rambling. Glad that you've watched this far. I'm gonna do this all week long so you can kind of see little glimpses of stuff here and there. A lot of talking head stuff at the end of the day. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's eh, eh, almost, I'd say good morning since it's the uh, first time we've been on camera. Um, I actually forgot the camera here last night, so uh, yeah. Glad it's still okay. We still got some battery, we got everything going, but today it's gonna look more regular, like a regular day. Going through, getting our products put together, getting batches done, to then get them out for the day. And then I will go back to my secondary project, which is to continue to work on said pallet. Turn down the four boxes, which is actually fantastic. While I'm prepping, all I'm really doing, other than just regular prep, is I'm actually listening to some private label stuff from Brandon Young and Seller Systems to get up to speed on keyword research because that's the focus right now. The one thing that's going to make it the business um, uh, work well is to be consistent in here, get products out, get them sold, uh, and that's going to make it easier for me to get into the PL world. Going to make the move to Vegas easier. It's going to make everything easier being consistent and working. So that's what we're going to do. Um, like I kind of said in the previous one, I'll do a little time lapse, get some stuff in, and I'll check in with you guys in a little while. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So, a bit has changed. Um, I knew that I bought a lot, but I didn't realize just how much had come in. So that's today, and I'm gonna be looking at a load like that pretty much every day. Um, topped with the fact that um, my normal UPS guy is on vacation, so typically what happens is my UPS guy has a key to get in, and um, he can come in. So, this week, um, they did not, they have to do this normally not on the road, doesn't know about our location, so everything that needs to go out, like all the stuff and all that stuff, unless I'm physically here, won't be picked up, and that won't happen today. 
Um, so, yeah, I guess who's got to go uh, drop stuff up at the UPS store. Got to get the stuff out. Uh, got to get it turned over to create some space. All right, last update for Tuesday. Um, typically, I would have already been home sourcing products, but due to having all that stuff come in, I wanted to try to get a jump start. So one of my big focuses is trying to get this product in and out in 24 hours. And I didn't know if that was actually going to work or if I was going to be able to get that much done. And I know that I'm ahead on my sourcing, so to speak. So I kind of traded one for the other. And I know to make one thing that makes everything easier for the business, if we get our product out the door, that's dead money. It's literally losing money as we don't, as um, it's it. So we're getting that out the door. Um, so perspective, I'll try to do this at an angle. We still got the chewy stuff. That's got to be reboxed. That's, I unboxed a bunch of stuff, so that's all. And then we got this stuff right here that's beyond box tomorrow. Got kind of a mess of everything that's going on here, but that's actually not too bad. All of this is going out. Um, and then I got a few boxes left on the back one that I need to get out to fulfill my uh, my goal for getting one of those pallets out for the week, which I started yesterday on with yesterday's vlog. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get back here a decent time tomorrow. i got to pick up some boxes to take care of all that chewy stuff. It's got, got it, There's cans in there that have to be boxed up. Um, other than that, doing all right. Got here at 10.30. It's now 5.30, so at 7.5, I'm going to go home, probably do a little sourcing, grab some food, and uh, yeah, we'll do it all again tomorrow. So I will try to remember the camera this time, and I will talk to you all tomorrow morning later well happy wednesday to y'all um getting started a little bit later today worked quite a few more hours in the warehouse than i thought i was going to this week already uh, a lot more stuff coming in so now we gotta go drop off cardboard so we don't have a recycling place at the warehouse unfortunately i gotta get boxes taken care of so we gotta get all, I gotta get more boxes. I have a bunch of stuff I gotta box up, like little six by six boxes. We'll stop at a buddy Christmas place for that. And then get back to the warehouse and get things shipped out. So I just realized something. Um, it's only Tuesday right now. I thought it was Wednesday already. Uh, sh shows you how messed up my week is already. Um, it, it happens, you lose track of days. So happy Tuesday. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna get moving. Happy Tuesday. And just like that, we're emptied out again. All right, we're like, getting to the warehouse a little later than I wanted to, but that happens. Got the boxes, secured those, took care of those. Let's go see, I know FedEx trucks drop stuff off. Let's go see what it looks like in here, shall we? That's all, box in the way, and then we got, that's what we got with today. Oh man. All right, so it looks worse in person than it does on camera. I got all that that came in today. I'm gonna be a busy boy. I'm trying to get as much out as I can by four o'clock, so I'm gonna work on that. And also the battery might be dying soon. Well, actually happy Wednesday today. So I made a rookie mistake and didn't have uh, the battery charged or have an extra battery with me, so I just started this back up. But I believe, on the, I haven't looked at the video, but take a look. Uh, I believe that got the beginning of yesterday in here, and this is kind of where we ended up at. So. That's pretty much emptied out. Uh, today's game plan, I gotta get through a bunch of cat food. Um, I gotta get through these two shelves, ideally this this cat food. Um, that's if I don't get bombed again today. Um, FedEx hasn't been here yet. I don't think UPS is gonna be here. So I gotta get through all that. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna get things set up, get to work, and we're gonna be uh, boxing up some cat food and getting some stuff out. All right, I'll see you all in a little bit. All right, I sit, got a bunch of boxes out. That's um, those are all gonna have some cat food in it. The reason why I chose boxes um, is mostly because I want to make sure the cat food's protected for the end customer. I want to make sure that they get their product in one piece. Also, apologize for the noise in the background. I'm listening to an audio book as I go through and do this to get some more just just more stuff. Um, in it, we're in a uh, book club inside seller uh, seller systems that I want to listen to the book. Um. So I'm ready for the book review and hopefully I learn something. So yeah, 
things probably look a little different as um, far as the film even. Uh, I made the newbie mistake once again of I brought that battery, set the time lapse up, forgot about the camera, started working, battery dead, forgot the camera again for the second night. So I haven't learned my lesson, so I'm doing this right now. Real quick, so we got a little bit of an update. I don't even know how much um, uh, storage I've left on the iPhone I'm using right now, so we're, we'll get to it. Um, got more stuff in, uh, got the cat food knocked out, it's over there, plus our stuff. Uh, my main priority right now is to get through this shelf, this shelf, then that pallet. If I can get that out, I'd be a happy camper before UPS comes and I got about four and a half hours to get it done. Um, the main reason for that is I want everything out, if at all possible, by Thursday, so for transferring, potentially getting live for sale over the weekend. All right, update time. Got in at 11.30, it's about 5.51. Um, that whole pallet's out. All that trash is going home with me because unfortunately at this warehouse, they don't have trash for us, so I gotta take that home with me. Same idea with a bunch of recycling right there. I have all my stuff set up to work on and get processed. Those are all damaged returns and flips I gotta deal with. Um, yeah, I would have done more, but I was really working to try to get stuff out today. Um, wanted the majority of the inventory out, which we got the majority of it out here. So we got that done, which is fantastic. Um, sales are good, we're ahead of target. Profit is okay-ish right now but we've had a bunch of stuff check in which incurs fees and things like that when that happens so hopefully it gets better because we have almost 200 open orders right now so i think that's gonna do it for what day is it yeah oh yeah thursday today and i will see you guys tomorrow on friday well happy friday um i would have recorded something a little earlier but i've just been working so you can see back here for house actually looks like it's somewhat put together at least i'm definitely ahead of schedule but still Feeling behind, I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but that uh, original two pallet of stuff, that's all done and dealt with. I got all my stuff for next week up ready to go. Let me flip around here. We got some stuff, we got some damage I gotta deal with. Still, uh, random, randomness back here. This back half is kind of a mess, which I say, I feel like I'm ahead, but not. Um, but other than that, that's a week, six days in the warehouse. Whew, it's been a lot. Um, Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this week. Um, I'm gonna take a day or two off, hopefully, at least from the warehouse, because, yeah, it's crazy. And I need to start buying some more stuff, because otherwise I'm gonna run out of inventory. Like, we'll get ahead and be real empty and not have anything in here, right? So there's a balance with that. Um, if you've watched this far, thank you. It means a lot to me. Um, if you like this kind of content, Obviously hit the subscribe button, like it, leave a comment. If you have suggestions for things that you want to see, um, leave them in the comments down below and I'm more than happy to oblige. That's tweak and adjust. Um, right now I'm just documenting it all, but um, obviously gonna get a little better one video at a time. All right, I'll see you guys next week back in the warehouse.